Assalamu alaikum grade 2 and welcome to your computing class. I'm your ma'am Umama and in today's class we will be continuing with the topic that we started in our yesterday class that how we can make a plan, right? So in yesterday class we generally talk about what is a plan and how we can execute that, right? So who is going to define plan for me? Yes, what's a plan? Very well done. Approaching for or in order to achieve something, in order to reach at a goal, following the proper steps for that, right? Or doing something in a proper manner. So, um, what, what, and beside that, we also discussed different steps. And I gave you the example of a trip. Let's say we want to visit somebody in our family. So, what would be the steps? This is not like you, you were just setting and the idea gave in your mind that just let's, let's visit our aunt and you just leave your house, right? No, this is not. You try to, for First, the idea came in in somebody's mind and uh, from a, in a member of a family, right? Then they discuss it with other members. Then they decide somebody agrees, somebody don't. Then they make a plan. And then the arrangements are done accordingly. Let's say when will they be, uh, be leaving? How will they go, right? What would be the gifts they will be carrying? What are the things the people will be needing? And then they finally execute it. So like we make plans for normal things in our daily life, we also make plans for bigger things, for bigger works, right? And because we are, this is your computing subject, so we will be discussing about how we make plans for computer or how we make plans for program. So I want all of you to open your book, page number 36. this page okay now look at this it says that another name for the plan for a task is an algorithm now in the, in the language of computer we consider or we call this plan as an algorithm now what does algorithm means we will be discussing this but there is this small activity it says that what is your favorite food do you know how to make that food? Write down the actions in the right order. Think of any food you like or think of the food that which is your favorite. Let's say you love eating pizza. So do you know how to make that? If yes, write down the procedure. Or let's say if you like a uh, French fries, do you know how to make that? Write down the procedure for that, a stepwise procedure for that, right? Like the food which we need or which we like, there's a procedure for that. Like the computer game which you play, there's a proper procedure for playing as well. Let's say you want to play the game. Now, wherever you are sitting, you cannot play that. You make a plan, you get up, you go, sit in front of the computer, you switch on your computer, then you start playing that, right? So there is a proper procedure, there is a plan for doing any action. Similarly, the programs which are being there in the computer, which are running in the computer, which do multiple types of job, there is a proper procedure or a stepwise procedure behind that, right? So let's look at the plan. These are examples of algorithms. Make an algorithm into a poster for the classroom. So now you will be making it as well. But let me share the screen with you and we will discuss what an algorithm is. Okay. Okay. Is my screen visible? Okay, great. So let's discuss what an algorithm is. So what is algorithm? Algorithm means that you have an input in, in the language of computer, you give an input. Now, what is input? There are a set of rules to obtain the expected output from the given input, right? Let's say if I give you the example of a searching on the internet, I open a browser and I, I want to search for something. So what would be the input? What would be the set of rules that I'll be using the keywords for that, right? For that search, and then I'll click on enter or I'll click on go command, right? And then the computer will give me an output for that. So proper input leads to proper output. This is called as algorithm that there are some set of rules to obtain the expected output. And if you follow that rules, you will definitely get the output. Let's say you are playing a video game, right? And there is this proper passage. Let's say it's a car racing game and there is a passage given to you, the timing, you have different types of cars. So whatever you choose, whatever the way you choose, whatever the procedure you use, if you will follow the rule, whatever the full, the, the, the rules game says, let's say that you are um, not supposed to close the, the boundaries. You are supposed to be in your lane. You are not supposed to cross that particular speed. So if you will follow that rules, you will definitely reach at your destination, right? But if you will 
not, there would be a lot of problems in your way. So this is known as algorithm that the proper set of rules which we use to obtain an expected output or the required output, right? Now let's look at the characteristics of algorithm as well, right? Okay, now what are the characteristics of an algorithm that it should be well, there should be well defined inputs. Now what is what does well defined means that whatever the inputs you are giving to the computer, they should be well defined, they should be clear. Let's say when when we were practicing searching on web pages, I told you that if you will not give computer the command or if you will not be using the proper keywords for your search, your answers would not be according to your wish, right? So your input should should be very well defined then it should be clear and unambiguous this means that there should be no ambiguity there should be no confusion in that it should be very very clear then it says that the language should be independent right it should be independent whatever the word whatever the command you are giving the language of it should be independent now what comes as a result of that when you when your inputs are, are well defined your outputs are also well defined when you are uh, the when it is very clear and unambiguous the output is also finiteness right then if the language is independent the output is also feasible right okay so these are the characteristics of an al algorithm that when your input is very clear when it is unambiguous when it is well defined your output is also very clear very well defined got it okay now there is this um a question for you or an activity for you in your book it says that share the recipe plans and game plans you've made whatever the recipe plan that i have given you that this is your activity your favorite food then your that recipe you are supposed to mention it in the stepwise procedure right work together and, and you can uh, work with one of your class fellow right or you can work with one of your family member like right? you can sit with a sibling you can take help from that you can ask your mother as well and then made a picture of that made a picture of a plan like let me show you let's say this would be the step one then step two then step three then step four if you want to make the pictures with that you can <coughs> you're making a cake you can make a bowl add some mixture in it here you have a beater right so you can make pictures with that as well and you can make a proper you know um, a representation of what is your plan right okay now it says that on internet sites such as youtube you can watch videos of people cooking their favorite foods and you can take help from that as well that what are the steps they are following let's say your favorite food is cake so you can go and watch a baking recipe and then you can follow the same steps in making your plan okay hope you guys enjoyed the lecture share this video with others i'll be seeing you tomorrow take care